Jason, I know, I know you felt like you started slow out of the break. What, what kind of work for you tonight in this game? Um, really got to the free throw line tonight. Uh, and I just got some easy ones early, right? You know, easy ones early, layup and transition. Um, getting downhill, finishing at the basket, just kind of opens things up. Um, and not, it, it wasn't like I was discouraged or worried, you know, because I hadn't shot the ball that great out the break. Um, you know, just came out here with the mindset trying to find a way to win. And Joe, Joe has praised you this year when we've asked about your minutes, about the games played, for how often you're out there, how available you are. Um, what kind of motivates you to get out there as often as you do? And, you know, you hear that debate around the league about load management, rest, all that. What's kind of your take on that, guys being available around the league? Um, you know, I, I, I totally understand, right? It's a long season. You know, some guys are a little bit older or managing certain injuries, right? And, you know, with all the sports science, um, for certain guys that, you know, is, is what's best for them. Uh, you know, for me, uh, you know, I just think about the the young kid, you know, the kid inside me, you know, from St. Louis that dreamed about being in the NBA. You know, all I've, all I've ever wanted to do was play basketball. Um, I love the game. I love to play. You know, I try to never take, um, you know, this situation for granted, right? I never try to, you know, um, like I said, take it for granted, always be thankful because um, I truly am living out my dream. So, you know, wake up uh, excited and, you know, I get opportunity to play basketball for a living, right? And that's not really work. Um, something I love to do. And, uh, you know, organizations, you know, Brad sometimes wants me to play a little bit less, but, uh, you know, so we have conversations and, uh, you know, as, as simple as that, I just love being out there. I love playing. I love competing. I love, you know, trying to win. Um, as much as I can. Jason, it seemed like you were really dialed in, a lot of fist pumps early. Can you talk about dueling with a guy like Donovan Mitchell going against the best on ESPN game, <coughs> national broadcast? Yeah, uh, you know, Dom is one of the best players in this league. Uh, somebody that I'm extremely close with and talk all the time, same class, uh, you know, so somebody I've known for a long time. and. You know, anytime you get a chance to play against, you know, one of the other best guys in the league, uh, you know, it always raises your level of competition. And um, as a competitor, you just love those moments, those matchups. What about that putback early on? Did that get you going? Uh, yeah. Uh, I guess it did. Jason, uh, Al Horford, obviously a big three-point shooting night for him. Uh, in addition to what he brings on the court, changing his game this season, he's taken more threes than twos this year for the first time ever. What does he bring to the locker room, obviously, being the veteran of this team? You, you lost to the Knicks, 15-point loss. What does Al say to the team after a loss like that to sort of, you know, get you guys ready for a game like this where you obviously came out and got a big win? Yeah, uh, I think me and Al are a lot similar in a lot of ways, right? You know, we uh, always kind of stay level. Um, and that's something I kind of probably learned from him, you know, being – his teammate four out of my first six years. Um, and I've you know, been on record saying a lot. I'm very appreciative of being um, a teammate of Al. He's been um, very helpful to me throughout the years, uh, just you know, learning from him. And you know, everybody respects Al. He's been doing this the longest. Um, you know, and he's the ultimate team guy. He'll do whatever it takes for us to, to be better as a team. Um, and he puts in the work. Al is you know, in the gym every day, off days lifting, working on his game, working on his body, making sure he's fresh. Um, and guys notice that. And it, you know, it's a domino effect. Uh, so, you know, he brings that, um, you know, sense of maturity and um, just levelness you know, to the team. Um, you, you, speaking of your usage, like tonight, you switch up, really switch up your substitution patterns a little bit. You had breaks in all four quarters, which you don't do a ton. Was that something you guys talked about a little bit before the game or just kind of flow that way? And, it, and did it help you uh, throughout the course of the game? Uh, yeah, we kind of talked about it before. Um, and, you know, that was the sub pattern. I, you know, I normally come out around six minutes, sometimes go back at two, sometimes go back to start the second. Um, it's just kind of a recently I've played the whole first. Um, and part of that was due to, you know, sometimes JB not being in the lineup. Uh, 
But, you know, I think today was kind of what I've normally done throughout my career, you know, coming out first, going back in, playing, you know, three stints instead of two. And, and for you, it seems like, like it wasn't really a slump, but when you're not your, yourself for a few games, uh, as your career's gone on, you, you shrug it off pretty easily. What has been the key to not letting it bog you down, just really moving on and knowing it's kind of you know, a long season, it doesn't affect you like it might affect some other guys? You know, not listening to you guys when I play bad. Uh, you know, it's a long season, it's 82 games. Uh, you know, nobody has a great day at work, you know, every day of the year. Everybody has bad days, I guess. Uh, but, you know, you got to take the good days with the bad days. Um, I say it all the time, I never get too high, I never get too low. Uh, and, you know, regardless of what happened, you can't change it. You just got to get ready for the next one uh, and move on. Jay hey, Jason. Coming off the, your first suggestion, did you do anything different over the last two days? Like, did you did you watch it over again? Did, you know, what, what was that like to kind of not finish your first game like that? Uh, I mean, it was it was cool. I didn't do anything different, right? Uh, you know, playing like shit, we was losing. Uh, you know, just got to the locker room a little early. Uh, but, you know, after the game, I was fine. I was more, I was excited to get home, right? You know, all-star break, went straight to Indiana, week road trip, you know, it was 14 days, um, you know, that I was away from home. So I just was happy to be back home, get a home cooked meal, um, obviously see Deuce, um, and just get ready for the day. I wasn't tripping about last game. And was there something psychological to beat Cleveland after they had beat you guys early, in, twice in five days earlier in the season? Yeah, uh, you know, those are two tough games. We went to overtime, I think, both of them. Uh, and it's been a while since we played them. So, uh, you know, having beaten them this season and then, you know, losing our last game, you know, we wanted to come out here and obviously, you know, play well with the entire game and, and get a win, uh, you know, back in front of our crowd. Last question to Abby. Please. Hey, Jason, uh, you guys had the last game before your 25th birthday are you where you envisioned yourself at this point uh i don't think so uh, you know i never i guess i never really take time to think about where i'm at or the things i've accomplished uh, time does fly uh, you know it's my sixth season 25 about to be 25 uh, so i'm just trying to enjoy the moment stay present because uh you know, these six years in the league have flown by. Um, but I like to think I've, I've been doing all right. And, uh, you know, hopefully continue to, to get better and um, stay healthy and improve and, you know, win, win some more games.